Hey everyone, this is Nitro. In this video, I am going to begin working my way through the five S-level trials. And later today, I will finish off the other trials, which is the SS-level trials and the SSS-level ones. It's just, you know, waiting for my stamina to recover before I do those trials. So let's just begin with these S1s, and the first one has the time law where after taking action, all units have a 30% chance to act the game. Okay. So, standard setup will be fine for this clear, I think. So that's Ledin, Sophia, Liana, Bozo, and Leon. Actually, just trying to see if I can place Ledin closer, but I don't think I can. So we'll leave it as is. Let's start off with Leon. Just using chivalry and assault to kill off an infantry. Or just chivalry, no assault. Because you can save the assault to kill off the second target. Oh, surprisingly, couldn't kill it. Okay. So let in, we'll just divine guard. Sophia will regenerate. Liana is going to again Leon for a second attack. And this attack. If I attack him, I can move back three. So let's hammer down the Flyer General and retreat. And then finally, Bozel is going to move here and faction buff. So just trying to draw as many attacks as I can into level. I'm not afraid of the time law activating because it just means I tank a few more hits with Bledin. Which is really to my advantage, if anything. Especially when Legend still has regenerate in the Vanguard right now. So... Let's keep moving. So, rewind from Sophia. Leon is going to go chivalry assault and retreat. And just chivalry and attack, it doesn't really matter. Liana comes here, so I'm just going to place Leon right there. Oh, got a second move. Didn't even need to use a game. So there you go. Dark Elf General dies. And then... Doesn't really matter, does it? Why don't I just... I gain Bozo to finish off the last cavalry unit. Ledin could also kill it in a counter-attack. I mean... No, it actually didn't die. So Ledin will have to kill it with the counter attack. There you go. Right. Not particularly difficult for the first fight. I could even do it with proposal. So S trial number two. This is... I don't think I've ever played a trial on this map. I mean, this map always existed, I just don't think I've ever played a trial here. So that's, this is pretty interesting. I'm going to change my Bozo back to his original skill setup now. Let's see, if I have Leon and Liana like this, so I chivalry, 
So I move over, chivalry, attack, retreat, again, kill off the Dark Elf General. Let's see, I place Leon here, does he have enough distance to attack? No, he doesn't. But now I have a problem where Ledin cannot guard against the cavalry attack. So why don't I just hang back instead? I'll ignore this group for the beginning turn. Yeah, because if... Because Ledin moves three, let's see. Well, you know what? We'll try anyways. Let's begin. Going to use my assault here to make sure I take down the Cyclops. And then I have to be within five distance, so this tile works. So, this actually works out. So, what I'm going to do is Liana will again Leon. And Leon is going to finish off the Dark Elf General. And retreat. Uh, now, Ledin is going to guard Liana, like so. And Sophia will regenerate Ledin. And Bozo will just faction buff right here. Earthquake to weaken the remaining three. I mean, the fight's already over at this point, let's be honest. It's just mopping up the enemies at this time. Hi. Hi. I don't need to stage his hat, so why don't I just rewind here? That way, Leon can pick the wing. So rather than Divine Guard, I'm going to be aggressive right now. So let's have Ledin kill off the Necromancer. And Leon finish the fight. Three. When you attack a target with hit points higher than yours, damage will decrease by 80%. Hmm. The AoE map. Anytime it's a building, you're retreating everyone into the building, so you bring two mages. That's pretty much sums up all these maps. And then you're just going to bring 
multiple AOE attacks. Okay. Nani o shite? Nani o shite? Ha? Kekaku dori. And this map's even easier than usual because it's all melee characters. So Leden is going to absolutely mm -hmm. dominate here. Leden does pretty well for that first fight. Now, let's start blasting away with AoE. Well, let him can finish off the gargoyle. That's why not, right? And then... No, wait, I'm going to break formation. Vienna again. <clears throat> and I might as well toss a heaven sanction. And finally, rewind everyone. Let him reactivate the Divine Guard, it's already over. Because he's going to melee kill all these remaining enemies. So the strategy for these fights has not changed for quite some time. In many ways, I feel like I'm repeating the same strategy over and over again now. But that's okay. S trial 4, when hit points is 100%, damage dealt increases by 100% and damage you take decreases by 50%. Hmm, oops. Okay, let's see. You know what? Let's bring Elwyn. And give him frontal assault. And sword soul. 
Leaden Wolf action buff. Liana will again. Uh, Liana, Liana, Liana <laughs> will use again, of course. And then I can also bring Leon. So, this looks okay. Leon, as always, will pull me up and take down or not. Uh oh. Because I didn't pay attention to the time law. Might be in trouble here. We'll see. Oh yeah, I think I'm in serious trouble now. Okay, retreat. Oops, my fault. That's what I get for not paying attention to the time law. When hit points is 100%, damage dealt increases by 100% and damage you take decreases by 50%. Okay. So you need to hit enemies with an AoE before you attack them. So that changes things, the dynamics up dramatically. So rather than... Elwyn, it has to be an AoE attacker. And I think the best AoE attacker is Heaven's Sanction, so that would be Lana. Uh, Liana and Sophia are okay. But I'll probably swap Liana's position and Leden's position. Yeah. So let's try this. Alright, so Heaven's Sanction to start. Right. And I need to be able to hit the arch the assassin. That's really what matters. So there we go. And now Shibori. And attack. Or uh-oh. Wow. That's not good. Well, so be it. Um, Divine Guard, as always. And let him regenerate, as always. On let him. Liana is going to have to again. Leon. And I guess what I'm going to have to do is hammer the Harpy Queen and run away from the assassin. Like so. This attack is going to hurt. I think it's full hit points. Yeah. So look at that. Leden just took an absolute beating there. It's okay. This one shouldn't do much to let in due to him being holy class. So it worked out. So, target of priority, Archer. Leden will end his turn first. Or should he? He can't faction buff. But that's fine. Let's have him end this turn in ways. Because I needed to remove the curse effect from this from these skeletons. Rewind. Hmm. Hey. 
Trying to figure out what to attack with Leon right now. Well, this should be okay. Smash the skeleton. And then Liana can again from here. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, that's fine. So let's again Leon. You know what? Let's toss the ice lance at the Archer General. And then assault the Archer General. And just place Leon back here. To draw to try to draw out the attack from the assassin. There we go. Now, this hit from the Lava Titan is going to hurt. But Lava Titans don't hit very hard. So, you can see, let him tank that one just fine. Even though the Lava Titan was attacking at full hit points. Black hole and these three remaining enemies. Late, but better late than never. Prayer up. And regenerate Leaden once more. The big surprise for me in this fight was that the assassin survived. In some ways though, this fight might be better off with attacking the archer first, right? You can evade the assassin because it's out of range, right? You cannot evade this archer hit. So if your Leaden can't tank that archer hit like mine did, you know, have Leon kill off the archer first. In any case though, this fight is basically over. And now the S ultimate trial melee attack damage reduced by 50%. Hmm. And the spawn locations are surprisingly annoying. Now the question is, are the enemy triggered? I suspect not. So let's begin with the Lester Chainhook strategy. If it works, then it's an easy clear. If it doesn't, then I'll try something else. This should be okay, I think.
The only thing I'll change is how Sophia brings strength in rather than regenerate. Okay, here we go. Turn on danger zone so I know just where I can place my characters. And I guess... I should start off with... Hein. So one, two. I can move back three tiles, which is just really going back to where he was standing. And assault. Oh, there you go. Move Sophia out of the way and strengthen up Lena. And then Lena will do a three range attack with freezing strike to kill off Hein. First enemy down. Yeah, and they're not triggered to move, so this is an easy map to clear as always. Rewind them. Chain of Yarn. Retreats. Once again, Yarn attacks and retreats. And Lena finishes off the target. And might as well use a gain on Lester. Okay, clock's activated, so I need some time for Chain Hook to recover. ゴメレオ。ターゲットは了解。うん。ターゲットは準備完了です。よし、わかった。うん、あっち。Let's because next turn I'm attacking uh, Elwyn. I don't think I'm even going to need to chivalry or assault. So there we go. <laughs> so clocks the crack. Oh, clocks did activate. So I guess we'll pull. Leaving only Shuri. Shot. Hi. 
So there we go. Very easy and relaxing clear. Might as well move in to two range and trade range attacks with Shuri. And done. So I did lose on the S trial 4, but that was because I completely didn't even read the time law. <laughs> but otherwise, it was quite straightforward. Uh, the SS level trials will be next later today, and then the SSS level trials. Thanks for watching, everyone. And on that note, Nitro out.